What are some good early game teams to invest in? Just got into the game. Trying to figure out which team is best with the Guardians I have. currently Walmart is theory crafting teams now. Welcome to Team Building Exercise 101 with CVMG, Disney Mirrorverse Edition. Let's think back to our roots for building teams. What was the first game you played where you got to choose your team? Final Fantasy? Kingdom Hearts? I'll use an example I'm familiar with, League of Legends. So in League, your team is five members, usually consisting of three major roles, attackers, supports, and tanks. These are some pretty basic video game class roles. Everyone knows the tank soaks damage and the support heals or mitigates it. But we can actually take these three major roles and break them down a bit further. For example, if we take an attacker who has some beefiness within their defenses, then we can consider them a bruiser. Or if we have a ranged damage dealer with absolutely no hardiness whatsoever, then they may be considered a glass cannon. With all these combinations considered, it's best to categorize your needs in a small checklist. These needs may vary depending on which part of the game you're on, but let's start with the basics and do a team together. Now in Disney Mirrorverse, we have three party slots to fill. The order of team members does not matter as you can freely switch to any team member during battle. There will more often than not be multiple enemies on the battlefield at any given time. You can expect to fight around 10 or so foes in each stage. So if 10 opponents will be attacking your team, then we probably need a tank. You can only dodge with a single unit at a time, so some damage soaking will be required. Then if we are expecting to take some damage, then it's feasible to think a support would be useful for recovering some of that lost health. Finally, we can't have all the survivability without a little damage ourselves, so naturally we have to pop in an attacker. And since we have so much damage mitigation already, we can afford to slot in a glass cannon, and there you have it, a perfectly usable team. Even though I have never personally seen these units fight together before, I can be sure of their success since all the major roles are covered. Of course, there are endless possibilities for team building such as Bruiser Double Healer Team, Area of Effect Cleave Team, Survival Damage Over Time Team, and much, much more. When filling your team slots, be sure to check off these few things. Does your team do enough damage to end stages at a reasonable time? Are there enough defenses on your team to survive an onslaught? Do your team members have any abilities or synergies to benefit one another? If you answered yes to all three of these questions, then you're already on the right path to building your team. Comment your team in the comments and share your team building skills with the world. Leave a like to grease that algorithm, but other than that y'all, that's gonna do it for me today, and I'll see y'all later, bye.